The Roosan Moor Zoo in Moapa, that's home to nearly 300 exotic animals, can remain open as long as it continues to meet code inspection. Yesterday morning, Clark County commissioners agreed the zoo has proven it can meet code. Roosan Moor was briefly forced to shut its doors back in August. You may remember it was shut down last year for inadequate sewage and a lack of bathrooms. The group was able to raise money to fix that issue thanks to fundraisers. Opponents of the zoo say funding will be an ongoing issue and that the animals will suffer. My concerns have always been their financial situation because it's, they've always had problems with finances. And when you have problems with finances and you have a lot of animals, it falls back onto them, often time for the space, how they're cared for, enough caretakers, their food, whatever the situation may be. The zoo will have to acquire an adjacent residential property to create more room for its animals. Roos will report back to the Clark County Commission with an update in six months. Right now it is open for business. Should it remain open or be shut down? What do you think, David? Well, actually, I mean, if, if they can't keep the funding up, you know, and keep it, you know, correctly operated, you know, up to a certain standard, then maybe they should find maybe somewhere for the animals to go. But mm -hmm. if they can find the funding, that's a great, that's a great uh, zoo. Yeah. yeah. It, but, but how easy, how accessible is a home for an exotic animal in this area? So I always, I'm on both sides of this because I understand these two veterinarians, right, from LSU, they graduated, they say, hey, you know, we fell in love with one kangaroo and then it turned into falling in love with a ton of kangaroos and then however many years later you have 300 exotic animals. And I understand the benefit of bringing that kind of zoo education to our southern Nevada area, right? right? Getting students out there and understanding that exotic animals are interesting creatures. Um, but then I see the other side, if, if you don't have the property to manage these animals, then are the animals suffering? Right. So I, and I wonder, you know, honestly, what is the difference between the hoarders? We get upset when I mean, these people are hoarding cats or dogs, right. and they started with just a few animals, and now they've got hundreds animals. of animals, mm -hmm. you know, and so, um, uh, one of our our executive producer Julie Pyle raised a good point this morning. They don't they didn't have a plan in place. They just yeah. kept taking animals and taking animals and taking animals, and then all getting of a sudden excited now, about it. getting grew excited about grew. it, grew yeah. zoo, but there was no plan. We watched what happened with uh, Pat Dingle and the mm -hmm. zoo here in in town. He simply wasn't equipped to take care of all of those animals, and it was a fight for years to shut right. that place down. And those animals, a lot of them, were badly abused, not because they were being mean to them, but because they weren't being properly cared for. Yeah, so, these animals in Mawapa are not being taken care of. They're not well fed. If they're malnourished, of course they should be shut down. Obviously, because there's no funding. But if they're maintaining code, people are raising money to feed these animals. Then they should be allowed to keep their license and operate. Well, yeah. What do you think yeah. it says about our community when a ton of people get together and their funds are gathered and then it's used toward the sewage system to help the property? If helping the property does that, well, help if your the money animals? isn't going where you think it's going, then that's wrong. Because if I, you I donate it and they wonder. tell you what it's going to, then that's fine. But if they channel the money and funnel the money to something else, people will get upset. Right. And I'm not sure how upfront yeah. they were about that. But well, what do you think? Share your thoughts on our VV Live Facebook page or share your comments on Twitter or Instagram. Our handle at Valley View Live. That